who are some of your favorite boxers? Like like your your top four, you know, your your, your Mount Rushmore of, In of boxing right now or ever? Ever. Floyd Mayweather for one. Mm. You got Pinnell Whitaker. Floyd Mayweather, Andre Ward, Pinnell Whitaker. Mm. Andre Ward. Yeah. And Shakur Stevenson. Mm. I think that's like my f- top like fighters that yeah. I like I think they're really good at boxing. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a uh they 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 all, they all they all got good unique styles, man. Like especially like I, Andre Ward. I think they all got kind of the same exact style. Yeah, they're kind of similar but in a way. They're just masters of boxing. They just know how to not get hit and don't get hit. Mm-hmm. I think that's like what my style is. I think that's why like you're going to be able to sit here 5 years, 10 years from now and have this conversation with me and I'll be talking the same way because mm-hmm. I can I'm really good at boxing. I know how to hit. The, the point of boxing is to hit and don't get hit. And I mm-hmm. think that's what um, you, uh, ma- top level boxers master. Mas- yeah, 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 for sure, man. I think mine would probably have to be Floyd, of course. It's the GOAT. Uh, Canelo. Yeah, I like Canelo too. Canelo. Andre Ward. And for the fourth one. Jake Jake Paul, <laughs> of course. Oh, man. <laughs> he said Jake Paul. Uh, man, so like, and and you were telling me that you you know you were you you know you were uh, uh, you know you were with Jake Paul yesterday at the club. What what do you, what's your take on on celebrity boxing? Do, do you think it's it's good for the sport or is it is it hurting the sport? I think it's it's good as far as the entertainment side, bringing attention to the sport. Because mm-hmm. if you got like a fighter that's like you know that's that's on the come up like me mm-hmm. or a fighter that's on the come up like Shakur and we're not where Javante's at yet or something I don't got that exposure that you know like a mm-hmm. fighter like that got say Jake Paul is main eventing mm-hmm. and we're like the undercard mm. his fans will see us mm-hmm. and it'd be like oh like who is, who's who's Shakur who's Richardson like yeah. it'll be good at as far as the it, 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 um, exposure. exposure for the sport yeah but it's like then again it's disrespectful to the sport cause you can't t- I can't tell you right now, you can go to NBA because you're a celebrity. Mm-hmm. But how could you do that with boxing? You know what I'm saying? With mm. boxing, it's like telling somebody off the street, oh, you got 20 million Instagram followers. Hey, come be a professional boxer. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it's a new thing these days. Yeah. Man. Uh, a lot of celebrities been 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 getting into it. But he's like, like, what, and what do you, what do you think of his, of his, like his boxing, Jake Paul? Is I wa- it, do you I see improvement him, or? I watched him compete versus Willie one. Mm-hmm. Willie one. I mean, he trying. Yeah, he trying. I mean, you gonna get better with boxing if you if he if he really like is into it. Mm-hmm. He's, he should get better. Like that's the only thing he can do is just get better and better. Yeah, and 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 money wise, I mean, he's he's making a killing. Yeah, you can't. His yeah. hustle. I mean, I'll be hating right now. I'm like, nah, he's like he need to get out of boxing. That he's he's that's how he make his money and make yeah. his livelihood. So, I think that, like I said, as far as entertainment and money. It's good for the fighters because if you're paying this guy this much money, you have to pay people yeah. that's really putting their life on the line more money. Mm-hmm. So I think he probably can bring more money to the sport because now it's like fighters can stand up for themselves mm-hmm. and be like, "Well, you paying Jake Paul this much? <laughs> Why are you not paying me this much?" Yeah, yeah, I think he made like forty five million last last year, uh, uh, more than more than Canelo. Yeah, that, and that's, that's crazy. Cra- it's crazy, dude. That's, like the world we live in now. That's you know. Cr- I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, man. I, I just, I just want to see Floyd get in there. Yeah, I, I want to see. I, I ain't gonna lie, I was you sizing know? him up yesterday. Him and his and his brother. Uh huh. I'm like, damn, Floyd, they're big. Yeah, I'm like, Floyd really fought this big dude. Like, <laughs> they're big. Like, I, he was huge. Like, yeah, that shit. Yeah, that was crazy. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Like, he got in there with Floyd. You know, like he. I, I just, I felt like Floyd was was holding was holding back, but but there was like a, a no knockout clause, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Floyd couldn't really. It was, a, it was an exhibition, but still, it was entertaining. I don't know if you, did you see in the in the fight where like like Floyd caught him and it looked like he 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 knocked him out. Yeah, yeah, he he dazed him and he held he, held, he yeah. held him like boy, don't fall. Yeah, the, the, I don't think he held him. I just think that's like a, a reaction. Like yeah. he he kind of boom. I think Floyd went to hold him to not get hit back. Mm-hmm. I think that's mm-hmm. what it was. Like Floyd didn't want to get caught like get rece- receive a shot. So when he caught him, boom, he just grabbed him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Floyd man, like he's really. I, uh, I think I heard someone like he's he's making more money with these uh, uh, celebrity That's, fights yeah. than he was like you know actual. Like I said, you can't knock the hustle. It's entertaining. It's yeah, it's and entertaining. I, I think he get ready to fight like in Dubai or something. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, it's, yeah. So you can't knock it. Billionaires, man. That that's crazy money right there. 
Yeah, man. Man, what Floyd's been able to do, man, is do, do you think it'll like? I mean, I don't know like, if it's ever if it's ever will be done again. You know, like, I think it can be done again. Yeah, but it's it's that's like Floyd's a genius. Yeah, he'll tell yourself like he's supposed to be born in like a different type of time frame. Like he pre- everything is premeditated. Like he does like like he's he's like a a, a real calculated person mm-hmm. in and outside the ring. Mm-hmm. So if you if if somebody like you know, can follow that blueprint to a certain T. I think they can get somewhat of the success Floyd got. Yeah, I mean, because, like, you know, he's he, he's arguably, like, the, the greatest fighter of all time. And not only that, but, like, he can sell the fight. Like, yes. you know, you know, like, like back in the day, man, like, you know, him going at uh, uh, Oscar and, and, like, you know, him, like, his ring, his whole, like, his ring entrance against Ox, uh, Oscar where he's, where he's wearing the Mexican, the, the Mexican yeah. sombrero. Crazy yeah, man, entertainer. Yeah, he an entertainer, and, and and you gotta remember, he an entertainer, and he don't catch no knockouts. Floyd, the type of person yeah. to tell you this is gonna be the most exciting fight in boxing, mm-hmm. and go in there and just run around the ring and dominate and go yeah. home and win. He don't. He's a lot of people don't like him for that. Yeah, but you know, I mean, but as a box, like as as, as like a, as a box, like as a boxer, you can you can see the art in that. Yeah, it's, you know, it's like as a boxer, like you are a big huge fan of that, but you gotta understand. The man is almost fifty years old. He's still mm-hmm. making millions because he got all his faculties. He mm-hmm. didn't take no punishment in boxing when he was competing. Yeah, it, it, it's sad, man. Like seeing, like hearing about boxers who who took that punishment, and some some can't even like like their brain. You know, it's, it's they're not right. You know, that's that's like that's like I don't know. It's 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 fucked. They can't talk. You know, it's it's it's, it's crazy, man. Yeah, that's messed up. It's like it's like effed up. Like. Like I said, boxing, I, I always say boxing is fun if you know how to fight. Mm-hmm. If you know how to fight, it's fun. But if you don't know how to fight, it's like you don't want to do it. Like right now, I box you right now. Mm-hmm. Like literally, we go out in the hallway and I put gloves on box you. Tell mm-hmm. you why? Because I'm good at boxing. Mm-hmm. So somebody that's, like, I don't want to get hit. Like, I, you know, you know you're not, it's like it's fun to me. I know what to do. Yeah. It's like You understand the sport. It, yeah, it's like it's a science. I understand it. So it's like. We could do this anywhere. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, now let's let's get your predictions, man, on, on some on some uh, upcoming fights. I know we got Thurman, Thurman and uh, uh, Mario Barrios. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, you could, you could. Uh, so you got Thurman and, and Mario Barrios coming up. Uh, what's your what's your prediction on that? Um, it's like interesting. Barrios just came off a big hot, like a, a high level, like what you. Like a um a big fight with Javante. Yeah. Like a so it's like he's got that momentum. Mm-hmm. It's like all right, like you lost to Javante. Like we know it's Javante. It's Javante, yeah. Then Keith Thurman is like you, Keith Thurman. You got we gotta respect your resume, but it's like still like you old now. You you got all these young guns that's they talk about. They not talking about you no more. Mm-hmm. So he got sent approved, but it's like Boris is like, do you just want to be the type of person that's like you know? We just throw you to people just to like see where they at. Yeah, that's what they that's what Thurman kind of doing with him, trying to see where he's at. Yeah, trying to fill himself out. All right, take bars. What do they call it in boxing? Like like a, like a comeback fight, like a like a tune up, a tune up. Right, yeah. right, right. For something as a bigger. Tune-up. Yeah, yeah. So so yeah, yeah, I see I see Thurman taking that. I see Thurman. I I, I think Thurman is a, Thurman is a high level like champion. And he don't get the respect he deserves. I don't understand. Like it's crazy to me. Like Pacquiao, well, he took that loss to to Pacquiao. I think that really, uh, yeah, you know, reduced his 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 stock. But like you said, like he's he's still like a high level. For, you can't sleep on him. That's what I'm saying. I think he I think he should win the fight. Mm-hmm. I don't believe that Boris is on that level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, same here. Josh Taylor is fighting again. Uh, uh, Jack Catterall. Yeah, yeah. Do, do I haven't heard of Jack Catterall? Is, um, never, you either. Never. never. Yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll see. I know that one's coming up. Gennady's fighting again. Who? Gennady Golovkin. Oh yeah, Gennady. Yeah. Yeah. We I didn't hear him in a minute too after that Canelo loss. Like he have I don't know what's going on with him, but mm-hmm. like boxing is a messed up sport. Like, it, like unless you have like a big clout or you know how to sell a fight, mm-hmm. or like once you take a loss, it's like people forget about you. Yeah. But Gennady was like one of the most dominant champions. Is like. This era of boxing, he lost to Canelo, and it's like now they don't talk about him. Yeah, it's crazy. And now, I mean, he's getting older. He know? is getting old, though. You know, so but I mean, he had his shine. He had his time. You know, 
He was he was definitely one of the most dominant. Let's fighters. talk about that. Like 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 you said, like selling a fight. Do you feel like like you you know you got to like know how to troll? Like that's very important when it comes to boxing and and, and selling fights. You gotta know how to clout chase in boxing. Yeah, you gotta know how to do that to make money. You gotta know how to clout chase. You gotta know where to be at what time, where to be at what to say at what time when to say it. Mm-hmm. People just gonna be like, oh, he's clout chasing. He wanna. That's how you make your money. Yeah, entertainer. Yeah, yeah. that's we, one of the biggest aspects yeah. of the game, man. It's yeah, we're boxers, mm-hmm. but boxing is still entertainment. Mm-hmm. You got people that make music. It's entertainment. People mm-hmm. that. Play basketball. People, fan, once, once they got fans coming to see you do anything, it's mm-hmm. entertaining. So you got to think outside the box. You know, you got to do stuff that's like, damn, like people are like, whoa, what? Like, oh, shit, I'm tuning in to see this. Yeah, like, get that boy a choke yeah, yeah, Do something like, oh, <laughs> yeah. it's entertainment. Like, yeah. you got to have something that's going to lift people off their seats. Like, everybody just think it's just, boxes problem is like, I feel like you got money, Mayweather. And then you got Floyd or whatever his people call him, mm-hmm. like who he is at home, mm-hmm. dad, whatever, mm-hmm. his whatever he is. It's a character. You pawn a character. All right, mm-hmm. I'm about to sell this fight. You get him. You get your. You get tunnel vision. You get your mold. That's mm-hmm. how you. It gotta be like. Mm-hmm. But people, some fighters say, like, "Oh, I'm not cloud chasing. I'm not about to be around this yeah. person. I'm not about to." But it's like, who? How you gonna get known? Yeah, gonna- yeah. And some of my favorite fighters are like that. Like, right. like you know, Andre Ward. He was never a big trash talker. Right. Um, Crawford, right? You know, and that's something the Crawford's going through right now. Like, like you know, uh, uh, Bob Arum saying he's not um promote. He don't promote himself. Yeah, yeah. But that's his personality. Mm-hmm. But you got a fighter like Javante. Mm-hmm. The reason Javante got so big because he got the urban rail. You mm-hmm. ha- he got little baby. He's around little baby. He's around mm-hmm. Meek Mill. He's around every rapper you can name. He's been around. Same yeah. thing as Adrian Broner, mm-hmm. one of the best entertainers in our mm-hmm. time after Floyd Mayweather. He knew how to. What to say, who to be around, and how to mingle, so he could, mm-hmm. he could get that uh, that money outside of boxing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, right now, I mean, with social media, it's different because social media, you got Instagram, people can search you up and stuff like that. A lot of fighters really wouldn't be known, be known if it wasn't for Instagram, but it's like these fighters, you got to do things, you got to be seen, you got to mm-hmm. be out in certain places. So it's like you can make money outside of boxing. Somebody want to pay you, oh, I'm going to give you 50000 to come here. Mm-hmm. Just to show it, parents. You're not boxing, but you're still making money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So you got to know how to open them type of lanes. For sure, for sure. 